Hello nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in nerddom for the week of May 7th, 2018. This is the music episode. In this episode we're talking about some new stuff from Guns N' Roses. Otep is still trying at relevancy. The Gibson bankruptcy and a bunch of other stuff. So let's get into the intro real quick. Quiet on the set. Rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Coming out of the gate for the music episode this week, we're talking Guns N' Roses. With the anniversary of Appetite for Destruction coming up, they are releasing the locked and loaded version of uh, Appetite for Destruction. Uh, this is probably like the pinnacle of the 80s or into the early 90s, kind of that hair metal kind of stuff, even though you can't really call GNR hair metal necessarily when you break down semantics whatever so everyone loves this freaking album uh the locked and loaded version of this is going to be four cds one blu-ray which has uh blue 5.1 audio for the original track listing as well as i think it was five unreleased tracks uh a, a few music videos so much is going on in this thing we're getting a, a whole disc of unreleased music uh, on the CD side of things. We're getting uh, an un a few unreleased jam sessions. Just it's this is this is how you do a box set right here. This is the way to do the thing. And uh, yeah, I it's going it's coming out in June, so next month. And I would imagine it's going to be like 150 bucks, but. I honestly feel like this is one case where it might actually be worth the money. I'm, I grew up listening to GNR, and even though Axel is out of his damn mind, uh, this is... <laughs> I feel like this will be a cool investment. I, we're just going to leave it at that. Kicking on next, down the road, we're talking about Otep. Yes, that band. Um, apparently, they're still doing stuff. Uh, they're getting ready, so... We live in a political landscape, and this is relevant, I promise. We live in a political landscape right now where we're going to be seeing a lot of good bands, and because generally speaking, good bands are politically charged, and when we have a red-white house, that means a lot of bands who t generally tend to lean on the more liberal side of things start to get enraged and what do musical types do when they are angry they write music they generally when in the case of like uh rage against the machine system of down so on and so forth the early otep when that kind of when when they're enraged that's their best stuff um so i'm hoping that this is going to be legitimately like the the press release I was reading for this was saying that this is going to be the best. This is Otep, like you've never heard them before. And uh, the name of the album is Cult Forty Five, K U L T, Cult Forty Five. It'll be out July twenty seventh uh, on Napalm Records. So they're you know they're on a pretty notable metal label these days, but like. They haven't done anything of any relevance for so long. I don't know if they can pull it out. Uh, no music has been released for it yet. Otherwise, we would be talking about the first track released off the record. Um, if this changes between now and tomorrow as this gets posted, we'll talk about it. But I don't think that's going to happen. So, I don't know. I, I'm hoping, hoping that Otep kind of pulls it together and does something good again. Though, I am 100% guaranteeing that the politics in this record are going to be bogus. Uh, super bogus. Just create, like, it's going to be one of the heaviest things you've heard in a long time, I'm sure, for non, like, blast beat kind of death or black or any, whatever those extreme metal types. This is, Otep is never super extreme. Uh they were a little more digestible for the masses, so on and so forth. 
rambling. Uh, hoping this is going to be a good record, but the politics are possibly going to ruin it for me if the music is kind of teetering between good and mediocre. I feel like the politics will tip it over into the mediocre area, but we won't know until it comes out. So we're definitely going to be keeping our ears open for that. Next, we're talking about Gibson. And uh, this is not really breaking news at this point, but it is still interesting news because I feel like there's a lot of misunderstanding about what's going on. So Gibson, uh, last week, it could have been a couple weeks ago at this point, I lost track because we took two weeks off, so I'm my brain's all crazy. So, they filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Uh, this last week, they, f they also filed uh, bankruptcy protection. So Chapter 11 doesn't mean they're going out of business. It just means they're trying to wipe some debt so that they can stay in business. And then uh, the bankruptcy protection uh, motions that they filed recently are to double ensure that they can stay in business so that they can keep working, they can keep uh, uh, going forward with their focus and kind of lose this stuff that has detracted from that focus. So their focus, obviously, is musical instruments. But a few years ago, uh, probably, I feel like it was over a decade ago, uh, they bought a couple of uh, companies. They bought one company that was home entertainment systems. They bought another company that was uh, audio equipment. So not just the guitars not, and, and, and beyond Epiphone even. They they bought these companies and they it was kind of a half-assed kind of deal where they weren't focusing on those companies. They were just letting them do their thing and they weren't doing great to begin with. That's why Gibson could buy them out and now they're dragging down the company as a whole. So much so that they filed for bankruptcy. So uh, they're, they're, they've reached an agreement with their financiers that seems to have them approved to focus on that and let everything else fall to the wayside uh their flagship products obviously the guitars and the epiphone line are going to be their focus uh they released a press release saying that they are focusing on putting out the world's best instruments which uh, arguably they've been doing forever and yeah i i have high hopes that this is not the beginning of the end for gibson it sounds like they are taking all of the proper measures to ensure that it is not to ensure that they are around for a much much longer time uh so yeah i'm i'm hopeful gibson guys take a step back breathe and let's get down to making some music Next on the list, we're talking about Avicii. For those of you who don't know, this happened uh, during our two-week hiatus. Avicii passed away on April 20th. So the first day of Dink was the day that Avicii passed. Um, they didn't release exactly how he had passed for a few days, but it did come out that he uh, died. It was, it was suicide. Um, so just uh, if you don't know who Avicii is, you don't. then that means you don't listen to EDM, and I can't really hold that against you, but... Uh, Avicii is probably the one of the top five like best examples of that genre of music that's so much so that he kind of breaks out of the expectations of that genre and kind of is a crossover act into the pop world um, so just a, a super sad note that we're talking about just needed to you know get it out there Avicii has passed and suicide is a is a real thing man there's a, there's a lot of musicians and entertainers in general who suffer from depression and Avicii was one of them uh, he had uh, health issues that were related to his depression because he used to try and drink uh, the depression away and, and just just really really sad news um, so take a moment and remember the great music that the guy put out. We gotta kick on to our next bit of news. Next up, we are talking about Christina Aguilera putting out a new record uh, called Liberation uh, next month. I don't know why I didn't write down the freaking date, but it's coming out. I'm pretty sure it was next month in June. Um, she did release a new track off of the record called Accelerate. It features two chains and somebody else. And I really, 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 really like Christina Aguilera. 
I think there are very few voices in the history of music that are as good or better. And I, everything she did up until Back to Basics, I feel like is pop gold. Absolutely wonderful pop music. But the two records she's done since then were eh. And judging by this new track, Accelerate, it looks like she's still on the eh kind of direction. So... I, I I don't know. I hopefully hopefully this first track is the bad track on the album. This is the filler, even though for whatever reason it got chosen as the first single. Um, bad decisions are made in music all of the time, so I can't really hold it against her. But uh, I just hope this this track is not indicative of the rest. Just like the Justin Timberlake album, he put out two singles off of that that were like meh. I mean, whatever. And then he put out that third one with uh, uh, Chris Stapleton, and it was like, ah, there we go. So I'm, I kind of hope that this is the same kind of situation. But that, guys, is the end of our music episode for the week. Real short and sweet. Uh, I, I try and keep it as varied as possible, so I didn't do a bunch of metal stuff this week. Got some non-metal stuff. Actually, mostly non-metal, I feel like. Uh, Three out of five, not metal. We're good. What did I miss? Because, I, again, short and sweet. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website. Generallynerdy.net is the place you can do that. Find all of the social media links, all of the store links, so you can get your nerdy swag, or just continue this conversation let's 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 go deeper into the conversation of anything any of the videos from the whole week if you would rather though support the channel a little more directly there is a patreon page patreon.com slash generally nerdy that is the place you can go there are tiers it's all broken down on the website go check it out patreon.com slash generally nerdy if you are new to the channel please click that subscribe button if you like the episode click the like button if you are falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before we click boxes or go to websites or any of this stuff, guys, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.